Hello guys, uh, let me start uh, this app to Google Chat using Webhook using uh, automation mode. Let me start the lab and copy this mail and open this in the app sheet in the mode. So continue with Google and paste the next. Copy this password and paste and click on understand and continue. Hello. And let me see a set of in task one. This is this is the steps we have been following right now. And next we are clicking on this uh, copy this template in the mode. Then click on copy hat. So change this app name as given here. Copy this name as the manager. And paste it and click on copy app. So your uh, one of our tasks is done. Let me check in my progress. So it is done. And next to establish Google chat space using Webhook URL. So open this in the mode. And the next procedure is uh, create a find space uh, in this uh, spaces section and uh, create a space in the uh, space button dialog space app sheet is notifications okay uh, then come to this find a space create a space here but we give us a space name here as an app sheet copy this app sheet without any and paste it here and create so this space name is already taken so give by your own by something your own name uh, cyber so I'm going to create. So it has been successfully created. So I'm clicking on the web books uh, as an integrations. So add a web book. So it's as phone name. So name of this app sheet, copy this app sheet notification wh without any dot. So paste it here. And here you get the URL. And don't forget to copy this URL and paste it somewhere else in your notepad or else in the session. And then I'm going to save. I will save this. So don't need a task free task folder feature without. So click on automation. Okay, let me go back to app sheet manager. Click on automation and I'm going to click uh, uh, create new bot and I'm going to rename uh give a name here given as an uh, uh, low inventory bot. Click on this and copy and enter. So it has been created. Uh, and then configure create a new event. Uh, let me create a new event, configure create a new event so event name it is asking for event name so give us even more copy this low e, uh, low inventory event copy uh, without any full stop and paste check it out for spaces also and then uh, click on data ch change type is updates only so let me tick only update and remove these uh, deletes and add-ons and then mm, table name products so click on this products and on condition uh, copy this just uh, click on this and paste this and click on save that's it so it has been done click on save so now let's save it has been here so in this process we are been creating a process here for next step uh, to run click on this icon and link on clicking on and give this process name as uh, low inventory process copy carefully without any push out give it and uh, paste it here and just keep it just now add in step so give a step uh, step name as uh, low inventory step and paste it So it has been created. So custom task and everything to be selected as it is given in instructions. Now create an automation task to send a message or here to check if you are still an automation session. Send a message. Okay, this has been done. Uh, check for still the app sheet automation session in the body selector and run. And now let me call report name as webbooks. So I'm copying this, copy this one and click on webbooks. So I am on this link and copy and paste this uh, report flow in the task and click on products click on this back uh, click on products uh, custom that will be custom URL is asking for the URL so you copy this uh, entire one which I have been saved later folder one and click on post and Johnson and just copy this uh, URL carefully without any mistake. Just 
and click on save so it has been ticked so task number is the low inventory bot to be able to google chat sheet so copy this paper towel folder copy and go to the rest search here click on here so click on edit here so it opens like this so just add number seven dollars next and save it so your task number five also it has been completed let me check my progress yeah it's done now create a second automation for shipping cancellation uh for still shipping cancellation now uh, we must follow the same method of older method only so i'm creating a new bot again see as it is given here so inventory manager app sheet click on automation bots uh, click uh, create a new bot add a new bot create a new bot okay then give it ship cancellation so i am adding another one get a bot and the name or rename i am copying this name without any mistake copy this and rename this as shipping cancellation bot so it has been done Uh, so configure event same step create a new event so new event created so i am giving the event name as i am giving here uh shift cancellation event copy this and paste it and data changes deletes only uh, in that uh, only the updates were deleted in this only this to be to be removed uh, ads and updates to be removed and uh, a table as set as shipping so table option to be shipping so conditions will not be changed So for next uh, process to run this process, create a new process. I am linking this. So add a step, same as the same step. A folder one. Just copy this and paste it and click on enter. So custom task has been created and add a step is created. So I am going to call a hook. So I am copying this name. Copy this name. Report should be cancellation. And click on link. So give me this and paste it here. And then uh, once it has been done, uh, now create an automation task and send a message to Google Chat Space. So uh, that still the app sheet automation run the task. Okay, copy this uh, report cancellation. Actually, I've been done this here only in this older method. So here, okay, uh, copy this uh, report uh, shipping cancellation task. And just delete this and add here, and follow this step. Uh, shipping table name as shipping, and delete. So this has been done. Everything. Uh, so I have been done. Step sorry. Uh, to be given name as report the cancellation step. Copy this and I think this is the meaning. Process step report cancellation and so open uh, step here on uh, the disorder method. So web books. So copy this URL open again and just paste this. So same procedure only will be continued. Next one. Yeah, it has been done. And this uh, post method. Just copy this as a body given here. Then we can see. Yeah, it has been done. Now task number is the shipping cancellation board uh, with the web books uh, to Google Chat. So go back. So go to ship and receivables and search here. Copy this uh, paper table or folder. And delete uh, this and refresh it. You start to sync with this. After this, your our task has been completed. This also without any problem. You can see. Yeah. And congratulations, you have been completed now.